friends welcome back to another series of ramadan iftars ramadan kareem to everyone so in today's video i'm going to show you a new recipe i have for meat pie filling instead of the minced beef i'm going to use some lamb so i have here seven pounds of um, about seven pounds of boneless lamb thigh and a stick of butter a cup and a half of heavy cream some small peas green onions regular onion and garlic I'm gonna use the whole bulb a large bell pepper two scotch bonnet a bunch of cilantro some black pepper some rosemary leaves some paprika and some salt and um, I have here all-purpose seasoning, jumbo, which I didn't end up using. I'm trying not to use jumbo anymore in my cooking, but I'm quite addicted to the taste. So let's see how that goes. So I'm going to start by prepping the vegetables. First of all, by cutting the cilantro and the spring onion and the um, bell pepper. Oh, and then the scotch bonnet. Please do not try this at home. It's really hot. Don't cut with your hands. Use something else, but not with your hands. So I put that away and then I'm going to come in and chop the regular onions and the and crush the garlic. So, sorry, I lost the footage for the garlic, but it's already crushed. I used the whole bulb. So I put those away as well and then i'm gonna start working on the meat so as you might see the meat has a lot of fat on it so i'm going to skim off the fat i don't want my filling to be very oily So after skimming the fat, I'm gonna um, cut the meat into small pieces. First I cut it into regular big pieces and then go in and then cut them into really small pieces. So I'm done prepping everything now it's time to start the cooking so I put a pot on fire when it's quite hot I start with the butter and the onion and garlic go in first so I'll fry this until it's brown So it takes about five minutes depending on how high your heat is for it to go from that stage to this stage and then I put in the meat and mix that then the next step would be to season the meat So I go in with the salt, it's like a teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon of um, black pepper, paprika and half a teaspoon of rosemary leaves. So now I will leave this to cook. So you can see that the juice is coming out from the meat. So it's going to cook in its juice, you're not going to add water. So you, leave, you let that cook. So as you can see after about 5 minutes just to check you can see all that juice that came out. I didn't add any water to this so 
I'm just gonna let that cook in its juice. So at this point, I lower the heat to medium so that it can cook better because I want the lamb to be overcooked. After about 45 minutes to an hour, you see the sauce starts to get thick. So at this point, there is no more sauce. Everything has been cooked up and the meat is pretty tender at this point. So I go, go, so I go in with the veggies that I chopped earlier and I give it about 10 minutes to cook as well because the veggies will release some water so you just give it a few minutes I think about 10 minutes and then you get to this point so at this point you go in with the heavy cream you can see that the veggies are pretty much cooked so you go in with the heavy cream and the small piece So after mixing all of that, I checked my seasoning and saw that <clears throat> it needed more salt. So I added another um, teaspoon of salt and then it was ready. So I dished out a tie, uh, like about a quarter of it so that it can, um, it can cool down while I make the pastry for the meat pie. So I like making my own pastry because <laughs> I like pain. <laughs> I'm just joking. I like it better than the um, store-bought ones. So um, today I'm gonna use some eggs to seal my meat pie because I usually have this issue of my meat pie opening up because I make a batch like a whole lot and freeze them. So I'm gonna seal them with some egg. And here we have our meat pie ready. And I also made some um, sausage roll, which I have, I'll link that video down. I have a video already on how to make that and the recipe hasn't changed. So much for watching. Make sure you try this. Believe me, if you try this, you're never gonna go back to the minced beef. <laughs> I'm just joking. Not everybody likes lamb, but make sure you give this a try. It's really delicious. Thank you for watching. Bon appetit. Bye.